Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, that's just weird saying my channel. Don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, this is my channel because my name's on it and I'm filming a video. So <laughs> I just sound really silly because, you know, one person probably watches this video. So anyway, I'm just here talking about things I like because, you know, I felt like it. Oh, I'm popular. Um, so yeah. Uh, so basically today we're talking about my first impressions almost of um prodigal son so i've watched the first i think eight episodes eight or nine episodes um we're getting towards like mid-season now um really really enjoying it um there's i like the fact that it is technically a procedural cop show but there's a nice recurring quite dominant storyline that follows it through as well so even though you've got like all these different um like cop show elements going into it it has got a very strong solid uh storyline going for it with the main characters and the surgeon um running for it as well um so basically it is one of them standard uh cop shows like the blacklist the following that kind of thing where uh the bad guy's helping the good guy but i um i haven't really seen the other ones i've seen clips of the other shows but i haven't seen like prodigal son's the first one i've seen of them type of shows uh, but I am really enjoying it and maybe I am really enjoying it because I haven't watched uh, like the blacklist and the following um, but I think maybe this might have a bit more of a dominant storyline because a, a lot of the bad guys that come in are also intertwined to the surgeon storyline and things like that um, but yeah it's, it's, it's a good show uh, great cast as well although what's really funny is we were looking up the cast on Wikipedia and obviously you've got uh, the main character um, and then the person playing his mum's only like 10 years older than him in real life and was like, you can tell, but it doesn't really take it away from it. Um, so yeah, it's really good. Um, it's filmed in a really nice film noir style as well. So if you like films like Seven, things like that, it's quite dark in that sense. Like a modern film noir, not the black and white film noir like um, like the older stuff and like Sin City and stuff like that. But it's, it's filmed like that and it's... Um, it's good because you kind of don't know who you can trust as well. Um, so I don't really want to say any spoilers because it's not fair to anyone watching this like and going, oh, oh do I want to watch it or do I not? But um, there's there's a few little things where it makes you go, oh, but do you trust this person? Do you, Is this person in on it? Um, are they all making it up kind of thing? So I don't, I, like, I, I want to watch more to kind of see what's going on there um, because it is it is one of them shows it makes you want to watch more um so i'm up to date with where they're airing it in the uk now so i have to wait i think there's a new one on tonight um but yeah so it shows they show it on um sky witness um i'm not sure if all the episodes are on now tv now i just recorded them from the beginning on the tv so um that's the great thing about recording on tv instead of watching on catch up you don't have to watch something straight away you, know, you can literally record it let the whole thing do it and then you can binge the whole thing because sometimes on like things like now tv and catch up by the time their last episode's been shown, the uh, first episode isn't available anymore. Um, so sometimes that is the case. So if you do have like a recording thing for the TV, definitely hit that record button because you can record loads of stuff and then you can have like a nice little backup of when you um, of things you, you're on your watch list and you might not be able to find anywhere else because sometimes things go to Amazon Prime and you have to pay for it. Uh, things like that or there's just missing episodes and it's hard to watch. So I definitely recommend doing that if you do have have it but don't obviously don't go out your way and buy stuff to do it. i mean i i'm a person that's like oh i need to use my tv i use that more than netflix i use that more than now tv i use that more than, well i don't have a prime subscription at the moment we tend to use the free trials but um yeah so definitely recommend doing that i don't know if uh, sky is showing any repeats if you did want to watch it but it could still be on now tv i didn't bother to check because i just thought well i'll talk about it but um i think i've spoken more about where to find it than the actual show itself um but yeah i'm definitely really enjoying it and i can't wait to watch some more um i mean the cast are great in it anyway uh the storyline's really good and i'll tell you what there's some funny lines in it as well it's, it's got a good sense of humor to it um i wouldn't say it's a comedy or anything near like that but you do have these quick one-liners that are so funny and you do get a little bit of a chuckle out of them and then it goes back into the seriousness so it's definitely something um worth checking out um yeah that's about it don't know if i've actually convinced anyone to watch anything or not i don't anyway i thought i'd talk about it because you know why not <laughs> um so yeah um 
maybe come back to my channel sub like whatever if you enjoyed it you found this useful um i'm hopefully going to do a what i watched in september video whether i have time might come out mid-october like the august one did i don't know um but yeah if you enjoyed yourself hit like subscribe come back if you fancy it i might not come back i don't know um yeah thanks for watching bye